Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll show you how to replace a grill element on a Rangemaster cooker. If your grill element fails to come on, does not heat up, or is damaged like the one on this cooker, then you'll need to replace it. Safety first, always disconnect an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to unscrew the access panel at the back of the elements here. With the access panel removed, here we can see the two grill elements. Now both of these are damaged, so I'm going to replace both of these. And you can see the wiring that connects to both as well. What I'm going to do, and it's a good idea to take a photo of the wiring, so that when I reconnect the new grill elements, I'm connecting the wires correctly. With the photo taken, now I can just disconnect these two wires on both the grill elements, but keep the earth wires in place. Be careful of sharp edges when you take these wires off. If we come round to the front, the two grill elements are here, but they're behind this baffle plate and held in place by a bracket behind. So the next thing I need to do is just to remove this baffle plate by undoing the two screws that hold it in place. Behind this baffle plate, we see a silver bracket here. This just holds the front of the elements in position. So I'm just going to remove this by undoing, again, the two screws that hold it into position. Now that the bracket is removed, I'm just going to pop some cardboard in at the bottom of the grill to protect my hands and my arms. Using a torch to look inside the grill, we can see both the elements, and the one on the right particularly has sagged considerably. Of course, the element is partially made of metal, which gets very hot and over time weakens and eventually sags like this one. So these both need to be replaced. If I demonstrate on a new grill element, you can see the bracket at the back has a single screw hole. So all I need to do is, using a very long screwdriver, engage with the screw at the back, undo it as I pull the grill element towards me, freeing it from the cooker. And obviously I've already disconnected the electrical connections, so it's only the screw holding the element in place. Here we can see one of the old elements that has come out. As you can see, it's severely damaged. The metal has split, exposing the insulation underneath. Now, bizarrely enough, both of these grill elements still do work. They still will cook food, but as the insulation has been exposed and the metal is damaged, they're dangerous, so they do need to be replaced. To fit the new grill element, simply put your screw into the bracket, grab your very long screwdriver, holding the screw into position, and then offer the element inside and screw it into place. Now with both elements fitted, I can refit the bracket at the front, and also the baffle plate.
Then I can reconnect the electrical connections at the back. Now having checked my photo for reference, I know that the red connectors go on the right hand side of the elements and the lilac or pink on the left of the right hand element and the blue one on the left of the left. Now I can replace the cover. So there we have it, grill elements replaced on a range cooker. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>